And you'll notice Kaz has done a good job this week of keeping me on the other end of the camera, but he's made the mistake of, of giving me the reins, so I'm gonna make the most of it here. This is just good practice for me, taking over for when you head off to New Zealand. I have to get myself some of these bits of kit. Right, welcome back. It's a nice Tuesday afternoon here. It's actually, we call it Black Tuesday because it is the Tuesday after the Easter weekend. Typically, because it's very busy with anything people have had that isn't quite an emergency, but probably wants some attention. Actually, it's not been that bad at all this year. Other years, it has been a bit manic. I'm just heading to see a calf now. It's actually one of twins that's got contracted tendons. And that's where the tendons of the leg uh, are tight, they're contracted. So the calf ends up sort of knuckling over like this. If you're a farmer, you may well have seen it. Likewise, if you're a vet student, most of them actually self-correct. And I may land and do nothing whatsoever, <clears throat> but farmers keen to get us to have a look and if necessary we'll cast those legs as a splint to straighten them out hold them in extension and that way those tendons get stretched uh, like I say we'll have a look if it's not that bad we'll leave the calf to it it's only been born today so um, it's not had much of a chance to correct so is it, is it him or is he the yeah it is this one he's a bit Come. Ooh, Either. Aye. Yeah, well, be, be the lack of space. He's not a small twin, is he? No, yeah. they're not, either of them. <laughs> See if that, it's sort of one of these, we were just chatting to Archie about the ones you'd leave and the ones you don't. Yeah. So I, my rule of thumb is, is if they, oh, hello, lass. Hi, Mum. Is if they can toe touch, or sorry, touch the soles of their feet, like on the ground, normally that will stretch out the tendons. Yes. Now, will he do that with, when he's got two? <laughs> because often this it's just one. Worst, this is the worst one. That's the worst That's one. The maybe, worst one. Yeah. maybe we'll do that one. Yep. And with that supported, he should just hopefully yeah. stretch out. Yeah. Right. I'll go and grab some, some suture yeah. material. Do we have, oh not suture, uh, well, cast I've material. Got, I've got hot water on the go. Perfect. Um, so he's trying to stand, but he just can't. Oh, yeah, I think I with think what, see he's, he's got it, he's got it there. On this one, yeah. On his right, he's okay. What we'll do, We'll shut that door here. And, and keep him out there, yeah. There. Oh. Right, okay. Not the worst of scene, no, but we'll not, get it. Not, but it's just, we'll do with correcting. Like I say, having two, if you hold that leg up, actually, just like that, that's perfect. Yeah, sure. So we've got Archie, who you saw in the last vlog. We've got Ryan over there staying out of the way. Uh, and we've got Veronica, who is a carving student with uh, Robert here, the farm here. Um, Veronica's all the way from New Jersey. Yeah. So it's very cosmopolitan, uh, <laughs> Northumberland, and in particular this carving shed. Um, out of interest, if you are a vet student looking for some carving experience, let me know, and uh, Robert might be able to sort you out. We're just waiting for this cast to set on this. It's just about there. So we decided, I'm not sure if you heard, um, although the two legs are contracted, the left is worse than the right. And he is managing to touch it, touch the soles of his hooves to the ground. So those should straighten out. We've just given him a hand because it's both the legs and because the left is worse than the right. So um, we'll leave that on for a week or two and see how he goes. But it's pretty, you can hear that now. He's very chilled out because he is a South Devon and you can see some in the background here. They are the most relaxed cows in the universe, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. 
They're beef cows, but actually, in theory, they're dual purpose. You can milk them and get a Channel Island premium, as Robert will have said. So, I think we're going to pop him back with his mum. Two seconds. Go on, good luck, go. Hey, lass. So you can see there, he's not quite sure what to do with that leg just now, because we've suddenly made it a lot heavier and a lot straighter, but he'll quickly get the hang of that. You can see there's his mate over there. That's another twin. You, and like we were saying as well, you can see the size of these guys there, not small and definitely not small for twins. So that lack of space within the cow's abdomen when she's pregnant is probably what's caused them to tuck up and not have the room to move if you've ended up with those contracted tendons. I've just recorded everything I'm just about to say already, but I did it on like high speed. So I'm gonna do it just in case that doesn't come out well when I slow it down in the edit. So we're here back with uh, Rothbury's Wobbles, which is my colleague, Jenny, which has managed to catch a quiet morning. Um, you've seen these guys before, we've blood sampled them before. They're lovely, quiet sheep, uh, Dutch breed, originally a milk sheep, but, but can throw some good fat lambs as well. And obviously quite striking looking too. And then these are the, these are the lambs. So Jenny, uh, lamb these, when were they born, Jenny? Uh, first lot was 9th of March, and the second lot was... 29th of March, so they right. are just, um, the youngest ones are just over a month and then the oldest ones are, what's that, coming up seven weeks? Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Jenny, you can see here, is is vaccinating for ORF and the product, there's only one ORF vaccine available in the UK and that is Scabivax. And it's not injected, so it's actually scarified into the skin uh, with a scratch. If any of you follow Will at Cowley Hill, you've seen him do his. And this is an interesting thing to do because actually there's a lot of people use the vaccine and when we go back and look at how they use it, we're maybe not getting the most out of it because it's meant to go at a specific site. So exactly where Jenny's doing it there, underneath the sort of armpit. And lots and lots of people will do it there in the groin. Lots of people will do it under the tail. Um, in fact, there's a recent Sheep Veterinary Society article where some of the vets from MSD who make the vaccine and some other vets actually did a survey where people were putting the vaccine and, and it was a disappointingly small amount or percentage did it in the correct placement and you might be wondering well why you know skin skin vaccines vaccine why would you get too worried about where exactly it goes and actually last thing you want to do is give the use off and the reasoning is is that underneath that the armpit is, is much less accessed by the ewes. They quite often go and nuzzle in the groin or nuzzle the lamb's tail and can then potentially get off on their, um, on their nose. So by putting it there, we're minimizing the chances of the ewes then getting off. That's a really good yeah. uh, example. Look at that, you can see that there, nice scratch there. Almost maybe a bit too deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vaccine. So you can get a nice, so that's perfect, isn't it? That sort of red, you've not drawn blood, no, nope. but you've got that it's red terrified. wheel. Can you yeah. see that? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. So that's exactly what you're going for. It's, there's a bit of an art to it, actually. It's always worth, I think, if you start using this vaccine, or even if you had for a long time, but you want to just sharpen up your skills or, or even, um, or even just, you know, improve what you're doing, getting someone who does it a lot, even at one of your vets, to show you. because. When I say, you know, we're getting it wrong where we, in terms of administration site, I'm not, it's not a telling off and not me moaning. I think it's probably on us, it's on vets, uh, because we're the ones who prescribe and sell the vaccine. So we should probably check and know and be confident that our clients are able to use it in the way it's designed. So like I say, it's a team effort. But anyway, these are nice lambs anyway. And we're just saying there's a lamb or a tup rather that's been throwing lambs that are uh, badly, marked. badly marked, which is just saying, always breed for functionality. That's what we're always saying for vets, good feet, good udders. Don't worry about the, about the looks. There's, oh, look at that. That is, really bad. And there's a few like that, aren't there? Yeah. Um, so, although we might occasionally take the mick out of some Leicester breeders because they like the black and white on the face or the yeah. 
ballet black nose breeders because they've not got the right socks or whatever were just as bad really yeah. uh, so to each their own so that's the lambs all done i think yep the vaccine comes in a 50 dose bottle and uh, jenny's loath to throw any away because she is from yorkshire so and we're also going to get archie um the vet student you've seen before to uh to mark some of these so this should be quite entertaining Good man. So are you, are you pressing first to, to prime it? So you're yeah. doing like this, and then it's getting down the... Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of, bit of blue stuff coming down. And then you really have to press hard with uh, these. Um, with them, you could probably do down the chest. But you could, yeah, you could probably do down the chest here. Let them sink me. Yeah, okay. I've said before actually, but I'm not sure I got it recorded, is that Scabavax is a live vaccine so it contains live off and humans can catch off. In fact, some of you might have even had it yourself before. So that's why we're wearing gloves. It's a good hygienic thing to do anyway, but especially when you're dealing with the off vaccine or any sheep with off, or if you've got students who are doing that, give them some gloves. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> the Archie, the giant, he needs uh, extra large gloves. How tall are you Archie? Uh, six six. So it is six six. Most doorways. Most doorways are six six. Yeah, that's how I measure it. <laughs> so while we leave them to that hard work, I thought I'd show you another of Penny's puppies. If you saw the milking video um, with a little milk machine, you would have seen Chester. Now we managed to offload one of those puppies to Jenny, and here she is. Purdy. This is Purdy. What are you doing? What are you doing? So that is, so that is Purdy. Hey, she likes the sheep work, don't you, Purdy? She's called Purdy because um, Jenny's husband, Chris, is a big shooting man. And I think this is the only Purdy he will ever be allowed to buy. Jenny actually sells uh, lamb boxes, hogget boxes, mutton boxes, and the odd breeding stock and pet, like those mismarked ones, which perhaps a, a Zorbal breeder wouldn't want. She also posts just quite nice photos of the Zorbals um, in this lovely Rothbury setting. So if you like that sort of thing, go and have a look at Rothbury Zorbals on Facebook. Stone Circle Field. Yeah, okay, so where do you need us to be? Uh, just uh, follow us along and then give me a lift back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll do that. Cool. Baby. I've done it with adults, but I've never done it with lambs as well. Thank you. No worries. Fantastic. So I'm still trying to work on filming the outros to these. Uh, I'm not very good at it because I never know really how to tail it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Archie, I'm going to leave him here with Jenny. They're going to move these sheep down the road and you're going to get some really nice outro footage that I can sort of fade out of lovely, idyllic, bucolic moving a sheep down the road. I'm sure it'll all go to plan.
Now look at that there. Come on you, go on. Imagine what you meant when you said take some nice panning shots. You probably expected me to, to hey get up, come on. You probably expected me to, to stop the video every now and again. I might have just eaten up all your storage, so sorry. I'm absolutely terrified to press the buttons in case I break anything, so. Kaz would normally do a recap about now, but I don't think I'm, I'm up to that. 